Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Mm -hmm. One, catch up a key XP is bloody broken. It's still, it's still. Uh, and two, second respawn camps are so valuable to snowballing an individual lead oh. if that's your goal. Oh. Shanji flashed the dunk oh. now flashes ah. back as well. Shanji's ah. gonna be pulled back in, that's nuts! And here comes Aki <laughs> to fly through. Dude, top lane is a flexing and then Aki just oh. comes in to say hello. Seeing small trades as Rookie moves the top side. I said that, but with the massive oversized wave, Bin now without World Ender is just gonna get engaged by a Rookie. They run up, Bin gets a stun up, but Shanji uh -oh. under turret, no, he buffed it. He failed it. Rookie's coming in. He's going to get dunked down. And he's like, bro, what just happened? Good nuking damage. But Knight's now flown up as well. And he's got all the tools he needs. All the deception. Kite away from us. Rookie tried to flash and get bin. That's a worthy attempt. But now caught in the middle here. Foxfire makes it a done deal. And the charm nicely connects. BLG punished so hard. And that Shanji dive. Hurts. Probably have the gold out of that bottom side thanks to the center passive. But... Uh, things are still going good as Bin mm -hmm. went through a ward to get into this brush. So it is going to be a 2v2 yeah. top side. Being matched by NRP is well into for Dominus yet ones. again. As Aki is fighting on the side, you're right. It's not even evolving into a 2v2. It is BLG looking like they're losing the 1v1s in each side. Shanji survives, but Boss has been off the wave. And Aki just gets a solo kill with Wookie and Fodic hovering up now towards the, the, the grubs. Like, NIP taking them apart. Yeah, and IP cheating though. They had Photix ultimate from downtown. It helped him both 1v1s actually. It hit both Bin uh, and Shun from the opposite side of the map. Helping out Aki and Shanji respectively. Really, really well played. And the Grubs. He wants it. He wants that minion. To an IP. Oh, regret. Oh. Regret. Charm connects as well. No dominance. You just saw him use it. Dunk down for Bin. BLG are just as quick to punish even up. Into Dwarf does a bit of damage, but it ain't enough to finish the job, especially. Uh, with how the time Kench already has a bit of stats behind him has been now ulti uh -oh. once again that one went a bit wide Shanji flashes back into it trying to kite around and 1v2 now all of a sudden slice and dice is there but Bin just kites it out and I feel like Shanji now with nothing available just has to sit there and take it Step oh ulti though and they oh. heal proves me oh. he jumps back in tries to outplay and props the Fogic from Aki mm -hmm. uh, but what we're kind of looking for now is the mandate finished up by on as Hundred zero. Damn. Okay. Well. Wow. Well, he said. <laughs> oh, uh, like, zero four. Yeah. That's wait, not a. Wait. Wait. Don't dive this. A build. Hang on. BLG. They're oh, hoping for no. the center to heal up, but they still failed it again. Rookie oh. flashed away. Aki flashed away. Bin. Not gonna die. Rookie's damage Bin. was holds a flanking position with ulti available. Flash almost up in ten seconds. That's three almost blown by BLG. A lot of their engage. Nice oh, start. Looking for Charm. Dwarf. Gets a flash away from Dwarf. Good damage though. Oh, Fodic is frontline and gets eaten up. And now, as you said, Bin is just holding the line. He hasn't pulled the trigger yet. NIP are getting forced out. And BLG, there's good poke damage coming from Rookie, but it's not enough. Charm doesn't connect. Is it 3k? We hold this stand off in front of the third dragon. The center roll flies through. 1.5k. It still goes over. NIP gets soul point as BLG can't steal it away. I'm trying to find and the angle. I think the big pain point for BLG is they don't have control of brushes. Hello, hello. Rookie, Rookie. has been called out. Uh-oh. Well, what's up and available? 20 seconds to the Baron. Rookie has TP, but he's 33 seconds. Not given a chance. Draw has to have that R key on lock as he gets locked down. Never mind, because the Tom Kench is just going to die. Fodic now knows having grace. R key the same. They're diving. This BLG have brought Ben in, and this time he ain't sitting and watching. The camera's been put away. really on the back foot. You are my bloody goat, mate. Ben doesn't have World Ender anymore. Wow, this is so Picurious. If they can secure the soul, it feels great, but look at Knight, he's on the flank. Can he find a good oh, charm? He can't. Joe's nope. gone! Oh, yes, he does, baby. Yes, he does. He opens up the soul away for free. Shanti runs in and everyone's good. Under the sea, Aki, where are you going? Just went in without anyone else's engaging. Now for the angle onto Shanji, onto Fodic. I mean, Knight has an angle just set on up. Dragon denied. And Fodic is gonna die as well. I don't know what Mr. Krabs is called in that movie, but he would be proud watching this fight and watching BLG once again under the sea. What a beautiful, beautiful up SE, uh, SE Aegon. I'm sure it's True. like their time zone right now, you know. Has a hello bin. He's got a turnaround. Oh, oh my god. Indeed. Holy moly. <laughs> I mean, 
this is damage. I mean, PLG is so far ahead now, and it came all of a sudden. They deny the soul, and we just get fight after fight that's going in their favor. Culling to reach Photic at the end as Knight now Spirit rushes in, ignoring Shanji at melee range, tries to the charm, but Photic flashes away. Knight almost runs it under turret. In fact, yes, he does. Wait, Knight ran it. Also, Elf did as well. Shanti tries to bring it back. Shun almost dead oh, and should die, shouldn't he? Bin from over the wall just stands there <laughs> waiting. And On is going to look for an Aqua Prison. Photic at least has the range. Bin getting close himself. BLG, maybe they just don't care, bro. He's just staring at me, menacing. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that's goaded. I would have accepted Tarzan as Elk. Look at him running forward. He just ran into five people. Culling does half the work. Tidal Wave follows the back line, and this is why I love LPL Lucians. They do stuff. They don't just sit on their bum and wait for the game to end. It's awesome to see as BLG have just taken two fell swoops at NIP. Arky's on a flank. He was trying for something, but that long, long play is now going to be sent backwards as well. And BLG have a dragon to take. They have a Baron to take, and just like that, they should have a base afterwards to follow suit. Yeah, uh, honestly, I'm always surprised that this is a 30-minute game, given the uh, the overall trend of it for the most recent, I don't know, almost 15 minutes, maybe 20. So there goes the dragon, just to ensure that NIP don't... Yeah, no. For me, Monster Zinc, Toy Story. Like, oh, yeah. How yeah, don't go wrong. Oh, he's just not being out in the parrot pit, by the way. Very rough. And oh, he's yeah. Dead. Oh, the power. All right. Same. I feel like I've not seen Joe press his Arky this game. I don't know if I've just not been paying attention. And it's not flack to Joe. I just feel like someone just dies far too quick next to him as... Oh, Bin. Could be... Oh! Oh, he's just taking on the world, dude. He doesn't care. He literally doesn't care. I mean, here's Elf, by the way, as well. But he can do the same. He cullings out Bin. Should be dying here, right? right guys, no guys. Way. Right? He took so long to die. And after what was already just an easy play... Turns into a Belcher. Don't care, that's gonna end the game. And the fact that he almost got away with his bloody life just makes it even worse. Oh, no. Lincoln, you'll miss it. I'm talking about Photic, not the game. The game was quite lengthy. BLG really playing with their food and. They... Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's on. how you know. It, like, it's, it was so over 10 minutes ago. Bin got fed the world. He is probably cheering, and BLG got smiles on their faces for a reason. This is. If we're going off of LS's old Magic the Gathering color scheme, by far the most red drafts you could ever have in your life. It's full aggression. All okay. the lane matchups are positively swung pretty much in that piece He's favor. in a t-shirt in his room at his desk. And then you see him with like a jacket neck piece on him. You're like, oh. hang on a minute. It's oh, much oh, like oh. this dive. Wait, action. Isn't it? Wait, Jake, 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 are bringing action. In. I know. I know it's a cyclone in the bottom side and it is perfectly like Dom. Look at the glow up for BLG. A double kill immediately. The bot dive successful. Oh, Bin's trying to absorb the pressure. Does so successfully. Aki coming over. Might change it though. Is against the wall. Equalizer set up nicely. Bin has nowhere to go. Flashes back over. Oh, oh. Nice Duke. Aki then matches though as Bin has not too much healing to speak of just yet. Tries to buy time, but Rookie's here to cover as well, and he'll pick up the kill. So Bin does go down eventually, but again, it's just like last game. Top. Now what? Dragon? I suppose. Okay. I mean, if if I may. Uh oh. Oh. Ah, hello. Uh, spotted out. Actually, turns into right. a good play. Shun's dead. No jungle, no smite. NIP with good pick. It plays off. Aki was so patient there. As Shanti trying to run down night. Eight of the half minutes, but they did it. And now they can very least breathe a little bit more freely, knowing that there won't be an ocean soul on the side of BLG. They get a tower as well, so it's definitely a nice swing, but we need to try and see an IPB even more proactive. No. They can 10 ish minutes if they can keep things uh, up, right? And that's not even really an over exaggeration. They can control the mid lane. They should win out on the side lane. It's only really on BLG and how should react, oh, but. Knight can't. Well, Charm misses actually Aki under turret. Oh, no! oh. Not again! What is with NIP and failing this top turret time? Oh, map, maybe gearing up for Baron here and making once again NIP walk into them. Equalizer. Hang on. Uh, are they going to fight? They are. That's a good, good one, equalizer. actually. Uh, Elk doesn't have on nearby. On flashes eventually, but look at the health bars. Redemption helps out, but the Lulu's just dead. It's a great pick as Knight tries to find something on the back end, but fails to. Now four versus five. In front of the Baron, it's a very different feeling now that NIP have arrived with the pick. Yeah, there's no almost for NIP, though, so they can't take this because a fight oh, on the true. back end would look bloody horrible. So, BLG. Horrible.
It's horrible. They're not gonna suffer the potential loss of a Baron and then MP. I'm not gonna stay up. They're gonna just look Ooh, for more plays. Whoopee. Charm! The charm! Nice oh. hit And Shun capitalized as well. At the max range, Rookie thought he was just gonna get some cheeky poke off. But Knight is just that much better at the moment, isn't he? And on Knight's Ari, man, this guy is looking good again. Yeah, he is. Finds his mark on Rookie, and now that could be a Baron start, even though they're the ones without Ultima right now. No jungler available to NIP, no mid laner. Super lopsided fight. On's on his way as well. Just to ensure that he can be here for a while. Growth. Shanji's almost too far away. There's no real way to force them off this. Maybe they can find a bit of poke onto Shun, but oh. it's still so awk with hysterics. It really is. I mean, they're trying to poke out Bin, as you said. Awkward because Shun as well gets Aqua Prison, but waiting for the smite here. They're trying to run forward. NIP. They're just not going to get the angle. They're not going to get the smart of course. Oh, and Fodic runs in way too far over the wall. Elk is now unleashed. Schwab with the Aqua Prison doesn't connect. Fodic has gotten out of the fight, but Shanji has not. Draw is going to run the distance, but NIP came to shop again. But this time they were kicked out of the street as Fodic is up next. Knight picks up another. MPLG is just too damn good, man. You make one small mistake and it feels like you're going to hell. Oh, oh, again, fuck. he just runs forward. Oh. How good is this? Poppy Alt doesn't connect as well. Look at the health bars. Well, actually, the Poppy Alt is health for the time being. His Knight Flash Charm. Vodic said Aki's dead. And look at this. The Rampage continues. Bin then flies in as Rookie's got no hope in any way. That's just so easily done. Bin with the triple kill. Knight started it. Elk is nothing but a running forward 80 carry. And this truly is the best team in the LPL. I mean, I'll say it right now, if this team doesn't go to MSI as first seed, it would be an upset. At least second would be criminally an upset as Rookie just runs back. He's the last hope, but you know this is over. You know this series is done and dusted. It didn't feel close at any point. NIP had some small windows in game number one, but in game two, BLG were always there to deny them. It was inevitable as EDG, sorry, BLG, it's been a long day. Reset, move another split. Night comes in. These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.